This is Jared Trust, and this is a free audiobook, technically podcast. It's called A Conversation About Success, Flow, Speed, Time, Business, Marketing, Success, Wealth, Happiness, Love. Yes, all those subjects in one teeny little audiobook and podcast. How is that possible? Well, they are all intertwined very closely, if you really think about it. But going straight into it, to start a business, to make progress, to start. A lot of people I talk to, you know, a common theme is they don't know where to start. Or maybe they have so many different places they could start. So many roads to go down. They don't know which one to take. There's so many choices. So, like I've talked about in previous podcasts, this is where where the importance comes in of choosing the best path, the best option. And there's a lot of options we could take, but usually the best option, the optimal option, and the optimal ways of going down that road, the different moves you can make, comes down to usually a few. And there's the right way to do something, and then there's your own way. And what I'm trying to push is what I find to be a shortcut. That's why I call my events that I'm doing soon Speed and Flow. Because I'm trying to mix, I am mixing speed in the sense that starting a business doing what you want to do with your life without it taking five, ten years, without you failing, without you going down ten roads like I did before you finally find the right one. You know, maybe it's a little bit of curiosity. I want to see where that goes. I want to see where that goes. And for what I'm trying to do now, that has served me well because I could sit here and say to you, I think this road is the best way to go. And as I continue here, what I found with any business you start, you want to have the right pH. That's what I say. And, you know, as as far as plants, right? You know, you have the pH levels. What is this? uh, Acidity in the soil. And... If it's not right, if the pH isn't right, the plant will get yellow and die, or it'll get sickly, unhealthy. It won't, it'll stop growing, uh, or it'll have its growth stunted. If you give it too little pH, you know, it just won't survive, it won't flower. Um, So pH, for me, is perfect harmony and they say to start a business but to make progress to start you gotta have a perfect harmony with at least one other person and I didn't want to believe that but it's true a perfect harmony is your ideal partner the pH is just right and usually to create a business one person is the money, the investor, the person who's got the dough. Because as you move along, you'll get to a point where you realize that that saying, you need money to make money, is accurate to a degree. And uh, yes, I've gotten to that point many times. But that doesn't mean that until you find that perfect harmony with that magical person that's somewhere, that you can't do anything. Before I 
go on to what you can do now to make money and also what you can do to bypass needing an investor altogether is you have the one person who's the investor of the money and then you have the second person who's got the ideas and hopefully the good ideas and optionally there's a third person who wants the investor the person with the money and the person with the ideas the dreamer get together at that point if neither has the skill set or the knowledge necessary to continue making progress they have to hire essentially an executioner the person with the skills to create and design and manifest this idea utilizing the money to create this idea and turn it into a business a thing that's existing in reality so that is a ph perfect harmony across the board if one of those people is just got bad intentions or is not genuine or has other ideas or maybe is trying to use the situation to move their own agenda you know one of those people might think that they're coming ahead or that they've got everyone tricked or they're manipulating but at the end of the day you know if one loses they all lose you know if one person comes out as not having good intentions and not doing it for the right reasons it takes down the whole base because it puts this huge amount of work on top of someone's head and it kills the trust and then so they don't trust each other and at that point no one wants to move because they just don't trust each other they don't know if you know they're wasting time and this is where time's involved is part of a perfect harmony is time is when you have that perfect harmony you feel that any work you do any meetings you have any conversations you have any ideas you're throwing at that your perfect harmony group that you could trust that they're going to offer you genuine feedback that they care about you they care about your ideas they respect you they're going to take you seriously they're going to you know you no one's wasting time no one's going to steal your idea and idea and go off on their own and uh you know when you turn around they shoot you in the back of the head and this happens all too often in our world but the businesses that really succeed are the ones that have that perfect harmony that ph which makes the plant the business green and healthy and it's growing and then it's producing flowers pollinating seeds the seeds are growing into plants it's sprouting you're getting employees those plants are growing healthy and as long as plants are continuing to be watered given nutrients and that ph stays level perfect harmony everything's good the business will continue to grow and then they're bearing fruits and the fruits is wealth and prosperity and happiness and love so it's important to choose very wisely when you're choosing your friends the people you're going to work with the people you're partnering with it's very very important because otherwise sure there's many lessons to be learned but at the end of the day this great idea you have and you may only have so many great ideas that you actually make moves on you know maybe it, it could have happened but it didn't happen and investors they do have power so usually you know the people with the money tend to in general statistically they tend to go a different route and kind of send the project into turmoil it's usually the investors and let me say one thing when investors which tend to be older people and they're good hearted you see incredible things happen think Bernie Sanders think Clint Eastwood in Gran Torino 
Clint Eastwood. That movie, I don't know whether it's about race and, and this and that, or if it's just, you know, an old guy is giving away something of value to a young person just out of the kindness of his heart. I mean, I feel like that's so rare in the world that, that when it happens, they actually make movies about it. You know, a movie's called Grand Torino. I feel like, you know, an old guy, an investor, gave a younger person a, a chance. And uh, that's so amazing to everybody that they make movies about it. And angel investors, you know, people talk about these people like they're celebrities. Because for some reason, you know, there's so many older people, but there's so few that invest in younger people to make things happen to better our world. And when one of them does, you know, I can name three off the top of my head, and I've been alive for 30 years, you know, Bernie Sanders, uh, you know, Bernie Sanders, old guy, you know, rich, and he's trying to do big things for younger people. He's trying to do big things for the country, and that's so rare and amazing to everyone. He inspires a nation. If only more older people who have bank accounts and homes, they just, nowadays, to help a younger person, to start a business, I mean, literally, you th give a $1,000, and you do it in a responsible way, you want to... You know, you, you got the, the plan. There's a plan in place. There's graphics. There's product. Uh, that person has done the work. You know, older people, it shouldn't be so rare and so hard. And, and you, we shouldn't have to search for so long to... Ooh, that's a yellow jacket. Uh, to make shit happen, you know? It, it should just be... A, it should be easy. It should be a common thing in this world for an older person with money in their account to instead of just saving that money to ensure their survival you know throw a thousand dollars at a good-hearted person who's trying to do good things because chances are it's gonna happen and how good is that gonna feel that's leaving behind a legacy and that's that's helping the world and that when we when that's happened in the past it's inspired a nation so I really hope that that happens more often. Grandparents, tell your kid when he gets out of high school, college, that if he thinks of a good business, that you're going to give him some money to start it. Let's have more of that happening. And I guarantee you, our world will grow at a very fast pace. Thanks.